Auto Capture is a feature that automatically shoots photos or videos of subjects meeting specified conditions. Some shots can be taken automatically, letting you shoot others with a second, handheld camera. You can also place cameras in spots where you couldn't normally stand, giving you more choice when it comes to shooting locations and reducing the fatigue of long shoots. Auto Capture offers a choice of three trigger modes. The Distance trigger configures the camera to shoot while a subject is within a specified range of distances. It's perfect for trains or sprinters coming straight at the camera. The Motion trigger configures the camera to shoot when it detects subjects moving in specified directions. Use it to capture only subjects moving in specific directions. The Subject Detection Trigger configures the camera to shoot while it detects subjects of a specified type. Use it when you know what your subject will be, but can't predict its movements. Now, let's move on to seeing how Auto Capture actually works in real-life situations. We'll start with a 100-meter sprint. The first step is to position the camera. In this case, we'll place the camera where we can photograph runners approaching the finish line head-on. Now to choose a release mode. In this case, a high-speed burst mode with 20 frames per second. Next, the AF area mode. Auto capture is triggered only by subjects in the AF area, so it's recommended that you choose a mode according to your goals. Here we'll be using auto capture for head-on finish line photos, so we'll select wide area AF, C1, and select a wide AF area in the middle of the frame. Go to auto capture in the photo shooting menu and select start. Choose an Auto Capture Trigger Mode. Here we'll choose Distance. Choose a range of distances for Auto Capture. Position the focus point target over objects at the desired distances. You can use objects you've placed there yourself if you like. And choose distances for near and far. After choosing the distances, press the I button to return to the original display. Press I again to proceed to Auto Capture Settings Display, and press the Video Record button to initiate Auto Capture. Auto Capture Settings are now complete. At these settings, the camera will shoot automatically while there are subjects in the selected range of distances. Our next example is the long jump. First, position the camera. This time we're placing the camera beside the sandpit to capture jumpers from the side. We'll choose a release mode with 20 frames per second. Now for the AF area mode. We'll select Wide Area AF, C2, and choose the largest possible AF area for maximum coverage. We'll position the AF area where we expect our subjects to appear. Go to Auto Capture in the Photo Shooting menu and select Start. Choose an Auto Capture Trigger Mode. This time we'll choose Motion. Choose the speed and subject size. 
In the case of speed, the higher the value, the faster a subject has to be moving before it will trigger auto capture. Much the same is true of subject size. The higher the value, the larger a subject has to be before it will trigger auto capture. Here we'll set both speed and subject size to 2. Then we'll choose the direction of motion. Match your choices to your subject's direction of motion. Press OK to save changes. And then press the I button to return to the original display. Press I again to proceed to Auto Capture Settings display and press the Video Record button to initiate Auto Capture. Auto Capture settings are now complete. At these settings, the camera will shoot automatically as long as it detects subjects moving in the selected direction. Let Auto Capture open up whole new worlds of shooting opportunities.